About a year ago, we decided to make a video called Amazon Jeep Wrangler Mods. You guys blew it up and absolutely loved it. So we thought, why not do a round two, order 10 more parts and install them on our Jeep. Let's get into it and show you what Amazon Mods we ordered this time. Mod number one, it is summertime here in Pennsylvania and for a lot of other parts in the country, it is really hot. So who doesn't like a nice cold drink on a hot day? But the problem is if you're around your Jeep, typically you have to set around your, your drink, your beer, whatever it is, and then it gets lost, it gets knocked over, it gets spilled. A lot of you guys asked about this, and on the back of my Jeep, I actually had a magnetic koozie that was on the roll cage. It was from a brand from a few years ago, and I kept that koozie out of all of them because it was so nice. So what we did is we ordered a six pack of these magnetic stitch koozies, and we have them here today because we wanted to show you how cool they are. But these are neat because you can customize them, and I'm personally thinking that we should get a nice Dirt Road Cred logo on this side, but check it out. So they've got them stitched on the back, Find a piece of steel on here that the magnet can stick to and the koozie perfectly sits there. So if you're working on your Jeep, you're wrenching, you're just having fun at a party, click that on there and check it out here. Let's put a fresh beer in there from Trogues, a local brewery, right away. Full beer, pop it off, drink it pop it back on. Drink responsibly, but here, this is a pretty neat one. And I gotta say, I really use that a lot. And if it's any koozie that I was gonna keep, it was gonna be one with the magnets built in. These are like 25 bucks for a six pack, but if we can kind of screen print our logo on it, we will. So check these out on Amazon. These are pretty neat. And I gotta say they're cool party favors too. If you have a lot of people coming over to your house, they're not gonna throw this koozie away. Amazon mod number two that we picked up is a license plate mounted bottle opener. Now, I thought this one was pretty cool because everyone's got a license plate on their vehicle. This includes both the bottle opener as well as the screw and the washer that will adapt right into your license plate bracket. Now, I obviously have an aftermarket one on here, but it perfectly bolted up and this thing is very sturdy. It's going to be perfect for cracking up those cold beverages when you're camping, when you're outdoors and you're with your friends. It seems like a very sturdy mount and honestly, it doesn't stand out too much. So I think this is a great short little mod that if we're in the spirit of summer, tailgate, doing things like that, crack open a cold one back here and you're good to go. We don't have any bottles right now. We should probably go out and get some more beer, but we would test this for you. I just don't have any bottles, typically with the cans here. But this is a cool mod. I think it's like 10 or 15 bucks and it's super easy to install. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver and you're good to go. Remember that time I said we didn't have a cold one? I lied. We have an Appalachian root beer, so let's try it out. Works. Drink up, boys. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Mod number three, we're gonna move on to the interior. This is a pretty cool one. And we actually, Ryan ordered a lot of these mods, so I don't even think he knew that this came on this one. But it is a driver side visor cover. Now you guys have seen these before, but check this one out. I opened it up and it's got a US flag and a little duck there with the thumbs up and the shades on. So it's almost like duck me. Honestly, this one's pretty neat. I have I've had these before and they make a good area for you to just put all your extra belongings. Here's like some ID slots or maybe even for your registration and insurance. This one I've never seen where they have the actual markings for the garage door opener. So I thought that was a cool addition. You've got a zipper pocket, some Molly webbing on this side. And then on this interior here, we've got the patch section so you can put your patches. If you fold this down, You've got an extra spot where you could put even more goodies, but then this hole right here is gonna be for your mirror. But I kinda like the fact that you pull that down and then you can release your mirror. Yeah, I don't know guys, I think it's pretty neat. Mod number four in a very small box here. This is gonna be kind of a little product that changes up the look of your Jeep when the doors are off or when you open up your door. I thought this one was really cool. I've seen a few people install them. So we picked a set up for the four door. I've already installed two on the other side. What's inside this box are four hinge latch covers. So the actual latch that sticks on the inside of your door and a around the framing of your vehicle. These are gonna perfectly cover them and give them a nice black look. Watch this. Clicks all around the edges. Boom. Look at, look at how much nicer that looks. It's not gonna interfere with anything. It sticks on nicely and it's eight bucks. I mean, you wanna talk about manufacturing costs. This is a great buy here and I would 10 out of 10 do it again. So for the mod number five and number six, we're gonna kick it onto the interior a little bit. And this is something that I've personally been looking for. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep either of these, but we're gonna check out some center console covers. So this one here, Ryan actually ordered it with the 1941. So a small embroidery. One of the nice things too, if you guys don't like these, Distinction Applied actually makes custom ones too. So check them out a little bit. But with this one, it just kind of elastic goes over. And the nice thing is it does have two side pockets. So let's try and get this on here. It does have a hole up front here for your key slot. So that should be a little bit easier to kind of see which the front and which is the back. All right, guys, a it's a snug fit. As much as I complain about that sometimes, it does fit very tightly. Um, but it doesn't look half bad when it's on though. 
So normally I would complain about a tight fit, but this does fit really nice. The cool thing is it does have the side pockets. It's going to protect the top of your center console. This is made out of neoprene too, so obviously it flips up and down nicely. I think the one thing you do lose though, yeah, you can't really get into that top section of your center console too easily. But it does fit pretty snug, and you can get this with a couple different embroideries. So not half bad after you figure out how to get two people to install it, because it is tight. But looks good and this would protect the top here let's check out the other one that we got so the number six amazon mod still with the center console covers i honestly thought i would like this a little bit more when we ordered it it has some neat tire tread on the top but after flipping it over it does install using 3m backing on here so i just don't know if i'm comfortable with that going on here permanently but if you do have a jeep that's a little bit older you're looking to get some more cushion i personally like this one just because it does give you a lot more padding up here and this is going to be way more durable than any neoprene cover but the fact of the matter is you do have to attach it with 3m and for me it's probably going to be a no-go but let's set it into place and see how it looks for some of you guys this might be a perfect solution just in my opinion i like the last one that we did just previously but let's sit it into place and see if you like it it's kind of half the reason we do some of these videos guys just so you can see if you actually like this product but it's going to set just like that so that's how it would sit it, it doesn't look half bad on there i'm just not 100 percent certain on the way that it mounts up all right guys, so the next thing we're gonna install is actually these new cup holders that I've been seeing on Amazon and actually I got a couple ads on Facebook for. These install with the full door panels and since I barely run doors in the summer, we're gonna install this on my dad's Jeep. And what is nice about it is it gives you a great place to put your cup. And then also, if you have any other, just smaller trinkety items when you're going through a drive through or even driving around, this is gonna mount up here and make it super nice for you to do that. The coolest part is on the inside here, the texture of the actual removable piece matches that of the factory. So I actually just pulled this off of my dads and you can see the texture is just about identical which is really cool this is going to go right up into the slot here and it's going to attach using some 3m adhesive on the back we've already cleaned this off with some alcohol so let's set it into place and see how it looks so to get it into place first we're going to line that up up here make sure it sets down and then give it a good push so it kind of knocks right over the top here doesn't look like it's going to interfere with the window at all yeah because the window is actually right there but we'll just give it a good push down it is summertime too, so that'll really help with that 3M. Then we'll close the door and see how it works with the Yeti cup. All right, so let's do a quick test with the Yeti. I'm not sure if it's gonna interfere here. No, so there you go. It doesn't block the rear view at all too. So from the inside here, guys, it's not blocking the rear view. And then when the other thing I wanted to test was just seeing the window go up a little bit. So there's the window up, how even fully up. Not a problem at all. Doesn't do anything to affect it. This is really cool. I gotta be honest, this looks very factory. It sets in place nicely, and also once that sticks on really nice, you're gonna be able to easily set your drink, your trinkets up there, and yeah, that's a good mod. I really like this one. So I think if you're gonna buy any of these out of these lists, do this one, or we have one coming up in just a few that's gonna be even cooler. So one of the last mods we're gonna talk about is this inner console kind of lid multi-purpose panel so this has got almost elastic style webbing on here and what's neat about it is that it comes with a backing here which i initially thought would stick on the whole back of the inside of the console but it's actually double-sided velcro tape so that's going to stick on and give you all sorts of abilities to hang anything you need off of here so i'll show you where this mounts there's two locations on the inside of the console so the two places you can put this, the upper lid, you can actually install this sideways on the inside of here. And that's gonna be able to hold some light things. I prob probably wouldn't put it up here because you don't have too much room below it. But the second place where it's designed to go is if you open the entire console, it'll actually go sideways right along here. So I'm not gonna mount this one just because we have a lot that's already in our center console and I think this might be a little bit of overkill for it, but this is exactly where it would go. So you're simply gonna wipe that down with some 3M alcohol, get it installed and you're able to kind of put your pens, hang different things on here and just clip different things on. I think for a cheap little mod, this is a good one to have. If you've got a lot of pens, you got a lot of things that you carry. The second to last mod that we picked up today isn't for our Jeep, but it's for those of you guys that have leather in your vehicles. I know a lot of people, including myself, had leather in a JL and you lose the lower cup holders so you get them up here in the center console and what you need to do on this is add on some additional cup holders to replace that just flat section in the middle so we're not going to be installing this but however I wanted to check out the quality overall the quality is very similar to what the factory is the texture is slightly different than I would say the factory is it's just a little bit thinner but overall a very well-built piece for 40 bucks you can get some more cup holders 
All right guys, so our last one and probably my most favorite out of all of this is our wireless CarPlay adapter. If you guys watch our channel, you saw that we did a full video installation on this. It has been working great. The wireless CarPlay just simply connects to your phone and works exactly as it's intended. It has a little bit of a boot up sequence here, works on here, but then once it's connected, it pops right up and you don't have any cords to work with. I'm gonna pair this with one of the bullet point MagSafe chargers, but this is a great must have product. I gotta say, if you're looking to get the best features out of your JL and the wireless CarPlay, go with this one. This one has worked flawlessly and I can highly recommend it. Well, you guys didn't ask for this video, but based upon the views that we got from the first Amazon mods video, we figured it was about time to do another one. With all of the mods that we put on today, there was a lot of really cool ones. One of them I didn't add on and there was probably a second one, but these are overall some very cool ideas to help you customize your JL for pretty cheap. If you like this video though, definitely check out all the mods that we have. We'll have them listed down below. We appreciate all the love and support that you guys give to this channel. And I know this isn't going out and wheeling or installing a brand new super fancy lift kit on here but we figure a lot of the time spent working on the jeep is kind of getting those finer touches that you really like until next time my name is matt with dirt road cred and i want you to get out there and earn yours